Hey, so guys, so welcome back for some more Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, last time we came back, um, Arthur got captured by Coma Drisco. Finally turned back to the camp, so I'm gonna go shave up for a little. Shave his beard off and there. He's been away for a long time. Probably cut some of my hair down. I don't know, maybe I can go to like the barber shop or something. And probably cut that down. But you know what? I'll do that later. I'll have a talk of phone Trelawney. Arthur! Are you busy, Arthur? Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. What? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I've found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. <laughs> you know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Rhodes. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. What could possibly go wrong? You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up take a short cut. here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to me. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Come on, catch one. Keep up. Be keeping up. Guess we're going to stop in here. Hitch up this horse. There you are, girl. Come on. Hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Oh, I almost forgot. Bill asked me to give you a message to meet him here in town as soon as you can. Something to do with the craze. I thought I'd nab you first. You did? Okay. Thanks. Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. You do. Here you go, sir. Here. Ain't you kind, sir. Call him Martha. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. 
it'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there, feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. What the Ooh, you say? What the freak was that? River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Okay, let's go. This way. Yeah, imagine trying to deliver like you know, letters on the horses back then. It's a long time to get to that to be. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to strawberry. Yeah, you know, so I know what's my favorite, you know, Didn't town in this game so far. I think like Valentine. I don't know, Strawberry looks pretty good too. All oh, the woods and stuff nearby, I like it. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? Alright. Sounds like a plan. safe than sorry what were you thinking well according to this the loot is located in a strong box which is in the back i'll put on a little performance and you can scurry around open the strong box and relieve them of their goodies and how do i open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me this should work <laughs> and i can do this silently well i'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary but you're going to wish you had your earplugs this is damson Oh, very good, Alden. Very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. All right, now I just gotta wait for them um, to the pull is. up. Right on time. Let's go. Oh, there you Keep go. Your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. Just gotta take a time with this. Make sure they don't see us. I'll ride ahead and get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing. This is a free country. I don't take advantage of it too much. Okay, they're slowing down. Let us stop. Hey, 
He's in the way on his queue. I'm looking for an officer to try and look. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. Yeah, I do this quick. Well, that went smoothly. I can't say enough about Mrs. Damson. I think it sounded right. Not bad. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Hi, all clear. Nicely done, Arthur. A little finesse for once. And I got my ways. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's always good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. I'm oh, Bill Anderson. Let's go, girl. All right. Oh yeah, perfect timing. I'm. Did I have a haircut over there? A barbershop? Did I do? I'm gonna head over there. Like at the saloon, I think they have one. It's Valentine. Hang in Rose they do too. Yeah. There you go. I'm picking that speed. I don't know why I was moving so slow. I guess the game is thinking I'm still riding with Trelawney. I'm not open yet. Been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job, needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seem legit to you, Bill. Sure. Dodge said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what about Bourne and Dorothea's? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, uh, that's so? Yeah. They think it was the Braithwaite's. Listen, I know these Grey boys a bit now. This is on the level. 
stuck in the middle of some ancient feud. But instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying the Catherine Braithwaite. Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right. I could have told you. Oh, crap. Dang. That freaking sucks, man. Okay. Poor scene. Patience. He has to help a little bit. Make sure we got a tank that will make us last long. Take that. Apple action rifle. That was freaking close. He just came out of nowhere. There you go, he didn't kick it down at first. Something better. I need another healing item. I can say. Him off for a while. You sure about that? <laughs> so much for you. What that? <laughs> we ain't getting out of this with nothing. That's assuming we even get out. Of course we're getting out of it. This is you and me, Morgan. We always get the job done. You call this getting the job done? Is she feel anywhere? I've done it back in Do it! You know 
No, we can't do that. You put the gun down, Chef. I'll blow his brains out. You want to join your little friend there, do you? Either way, you're a dead man. Morgan? Jeez. He's a good kid. Well, how the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you. Same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what, six months now? And all you ever done was complain. You can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Bury him proper someplace quiet. Smacker? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. That's messed up. He was like an annoying little brother to me. What fun we had riding together. What a god. Damn mess we are making of things. Bitch, Brandolin. That needs to speak to me. See what he needs to talk to him. Everybody just calm down. Now I know you're worried, but we have everybody looking for him and we are gonna find his boy. Okay, Bourbon. Take some health cure. Relax. Arthur, have you seen that boy, Jack? Oh, shoot. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think. The Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, I, where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him. We will bring him back to you. And we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch, we just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill them. The rest of you, let's ride. Let's go. Okay, let's go get that boy back. This is for Jack, man. They must have figured out what we was up to, Dutch. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know. I heard about God too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. I swear, I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about 
Oh, screw that dang goat. We're gonna massacre the hell out of these people. Okay, get your hands right. Nobody makes a move until I say so. I didn't even get to the kid though. Like, was no one watching the camp? Get my perfect guns ready. Time to come prepared, you know. Marcia. Marcia, we can't do this without you. Hold your horses, Butch. Come on, let's get this done, John. You sure you're okay? Like I said, Butch. fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? Messed up. I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches! John, I need you to stay calm. Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. You shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. You ain't gonna be civilized about this. All right, then let's start shooting. Let me uh, me take some special help. I'm gonna get wrecked here. I take a tonic. That's better. Come by, text jet. Right in the freaking chest. Keep pushing forward. I will do Dutch. Ooh. 
freaking dang hillbilly. Nice mustache. Fucks have to take you out though. You don't deserve it. I set upstairs. Looks like Dutch need help. You got more. Velocity. Got me. I hate when people kidnap children. Got a Molotov at them. Burn. Like dynamite. in this house for 120 years. We never had no problem except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Yep, all inbreds are dead. That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. Need to get rid of this health house. Can't ever mess with the gang. this place.
I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are off liquor. limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, mister. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. Hey, go ahead and burn the house. Crazy old hag. Work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, um, she she'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine, but well, of course Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no, not for nothing. For living. Now we get that boy back and we go. Trust me. Hey Dutch, you got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors, a solution. Good day, fine people. Oh Vanderland. man. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan. Nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man. So in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off disappear and go and live like human beings someplace else you came for me risk life and limb in this den of low lives and murderers so that they might live and love <sighs> ain't that fine <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to kill all these folk dutch just you in that case it'll be my honor to join you Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon i'm afraid i can't and when i return i'll be with 50 men all of you will die run away from this place you fools run come on get your damn hands off of me boy what now we get out of here and quick any ideas i know a big old house hidden in the swamps outside san denis I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days? That's all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the 
previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. It's you and Arthur. Ride out to make sure no one else has moved in. Let him go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back. And we'll get going. Rest of you get packing. Come on, John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot off. Yep. Uh, and to another new location. I know the way. New um, hideout. Going for Jack. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail or at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We make too much noise once again. We drove right to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few? Far too many. Hey, wait up. Come on, John. Keep up, too. Yo, that was one of my most favorite missions I ever, you know, played. That was actually one of my most favorite moments in this game. Eat a deer. Come on, we can all just walk on foot right there. I need the horse. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. Oh. It'd be empty. It's them again. Oh, shoot. Boys! Damn it. Still some here. Hit one hit, one's on the other side. Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you. You hear me? Come out where I can shoot you. Got lucky. Take this off you. I think we're clear. Good. Let me jump down the entrance. Hold your horses, John. Here. Give me a hand moving these bodies. I don't want the others walking into this. Yeah, you see enough chaos. Follow me. Take care of these bodies. All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. Okay, I can deal with the rest of the bodies. 
I think the alligators will take care of that. Grab this one. All right, time to bring in some more alligator food. Now I better hide out though. Are you still there? Oh, shit. Here you are. Welcome home, all of you, to uh, my humble abode. We got fine living. Ignore the corpses and the alligators. It's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. Where are Molly? Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back. Whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places. Maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few there minutes. There he is over there. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us. Anthony was like one of the most fair places to go to in this game. Families, losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the west for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Specialization. Whatever. We, what are you doing? Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Looks really good for his time. Oh, look at that rainbow back there. Big city. Always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. At the four, Saint Denis. It looks really amazing for his town too. It's like a new era of America at the time. Alright guys, let's see what we're gonna do now. Yo, Bronte, I guess we're gonna be asking around for him. Alright guys, but anyway, I'm gonna end the video right here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.